want to give a quick shout out to my patrons. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. So thank you, thank you. Hey y'all, it's Kate from The Letter Apothecary and checking in first of the week for our weekly reading vlog. First and foremost, I need to say hello and welcome to some of our new subscribers. I have completely forgotten to do this the past like two weeks. So I want to just say hello and welcome to Carrie Quinn and Melanie H. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. It really means the world to me that you all are here and subscribed and watch my videos. You guys are the absolute best. Now for our check-ins, what am I going to be reading this week? Well, to start this week off, I'm going to be hopefully finishing The Space Between Worlds because this book is amazing and it's getting so interesting. I'm about halfway through and I can't wait to see where this book is going to go. I am making my way through the book of cold cases. This book started off really, really strong and it still has that creep factor, but it's like ebbing and flowing now in my interest. It feels like it's leading up to a predictable point. Um, and it also feels like there's moments where I'm like, what does this have to do with the rest of the story? So we'll see how this goes. I'm still enjoying it. Um, but I feel like the best, so far the best part of the book was the very few, first few chapters, so we'll see. Uh, I also have started Kingdom Keepers 2, Disney at Dawn, which is book two in this series. This is part of my books my boyfriend gave me series, and um, so far I am actually enjoying book seven more than book two. But we'll see where this story goes because right now they're going off to chase one of the overtakers, one of the Disney villains in Cinderella's castle. So we'll see what happens with there. I am also still reading Waking Ursa Minor. I am about 40% of the way in there and things are getting really interesting. We're getting some magic that I'm like, what is this kind of magic? Because this is crazy. We've got magical creatures. We've got a lot of different things going on and I'm so intrigued. Um, I'm also reading Jasmine Perez and the evil sorceress, wicked sorceress. Um, and I'm interested to see where this goes though it feels a very predictable. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, one last thing for y'all, I got some book mail. My book of the month book came in and for the month of April, I decided to go nonfiction because it's not often that we get a nonfiction choice here. So I chose Bittersweet, How Sour, Sorrow and Longing Make Us Whole um, by Susan Cain. And this book sounded really interesting to me. Um, Bittersweetness is a tendency to states of longing, poignancy, and sorrow, an acute awareness of passing time, and a cu curiously piercing joy at the beauty of the world. It recognizes that light and dark, birth and death, bitter and sweet are forever paired. Um, it just sounded like a really interesting book to me, and it was something different than what we normally get with Book of the Month. So I was excited to get into this. Um... Yeah, so that's, holy cow, I'm so distracted today, I can't even film. That's the book mail, that's my check-in, and I'll check in with y'all guys again soon. Bye. Library book haul for y'all. I went and dropped off two books that I had finished and picked up my next read, The Passengers by John Mars. This is a thriller, I think. Um... I know nothing about this other than it was picked by um, Patrick for my patron pick in March and I can't wait to get to it. Um, also Sharon at Sharon Dwyer said it's really 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 good. So I'm excited for a quick thriller to get through. Um, looks like it's got pretty big font and so a decent size and I'm really excited and plus a very cool cover so I can't wait to get to this probably start it tomorrow while I'm um, home so yeah there's my library hall and you know another one down 
Hey y'all, so doing one last check-in for this week. This is what happens when you don't plan ahead. I want to record my videos during the weekend and my camera battery was completely dead. So I was like, okay, I'll switch over to the computer. Well, I left my webcam back in my bag at John's house. So then I was like, okay, well, I have a camera attached to my work computer because it's a laptop, so I can just use that. Nope, that didn't work either. So now we're on to plan A, B, C, D, and I'm using my cell phone. I hope to God this works. Um, I know other people use their cell phones all the time, but we'll see how this works. So to end this weekly reading vlog, I'm going to talk about two books that I finished, and then we'll talk about the books that I'm going to read this weekend to, and to start next week. So the books that I finished this weekend this week include The Horse and His Boy by C.S. Lewis, which is book three in the Chronicles of Narnia series, and I'll have a review coming for that this week. Um, and I also finished Jasmine Perez and the Wicked Sorceress. Now, The Horse and His Boy, I gave three out of five stars, and I'll talk about why in my review for that that comes out on Tuesday. Um, Jasmine Perez and the Wicked Sorceress was a self-pub book that I read um and i gave that two stars which feels maybe slightly generous but there it is um and there there was a lot of issues that i had with it though it had a good kernel of a story so i would be interested to see where this how this book would be um if they had a good editor a lot of self pubs pub books don't have those editors but they need them desperately um, but that's all I'll say about that because I don't like to talk negative about books. Editing Kate coming in here. So I forgot to mention one last book that I finished. I finished three books. I finished The Space Between Worlds by Micah Johnson and this book was incredible. I gave this five out of five stars. Everyone needs to go and read this book if you haven't yet. It's about traveling in between different worlds and timelines and it's absolutely incredible and makes you really think about your life and everything going on and I can't say enough about this book. Um, I'll have a dedicated review coming soon. This was actually a patron pick. Thank you, thank you, thank you to Lena at Lauren Lullabies for picking this book for me because it was absolutely amazing. It was beautiful and I absolutely loved it. So then the rest of my reading for the end of this week, the start of next week, include Kingdom Keepers number two, Disney at Dawn. I am still making progress in that. The Passengers by John Mars, which I just started, um, I think it was Thursday. Um, and The Book of Cold Cases, which I'm hoping to finish very soon. And Waking Ursa Minor, which I am making very good progress on. Maybe, maybe I'll be able to finish that this week. I hope so, so I can move on, but I'm really, really enjoying that, and y'all, you need to go read this book. This is by my friend Helen. She's amazing, and I love the character Baron so much. He just, I just want to give him big hugs all the time. So, that is my weekly reading vlog for this week. What was this week? April, what, 11th to 16th, 9th to 16th, some something like that. I think it was 9th to the 16th. Um, let me know in the comments below, as always, what you, your favorite reads were from this past week, what you're looking forward to reading next week. If you've read anything I talked about, in the, let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. Um, as always, my Patreon and my Discord information will be in the description below. There is no pressure to join either, but we have a ton of fun at both. Um, and most of these books on my TBR this month were chosen by patrons, so um, if you want to be part of that fun activity, fun game that we have going now, come join Patreon. It's only $1 a month to join. Uh, keep reading, and I love you all to the moon and back. Bye.